So, uh, what's up, guys? It's Terry here by Nino Quadge, and if you guys are watching this video right now, that means you're either waiting to download or currently downloading the new Call of Duty update 1.30, which is an interesting update. I can't determine whether this is the Season 6 Reloaded update or if it's just an update to prepare us for the campaign uh, preload, if you will. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys what I theorize this update later today is going to bring, and I'll tell you how big the update is, you know, in terms of size and when you'll be able to install it, and what the potential content can be coming from this update. So if you guys are excited for, you know, to hear about Call of Duty updates in the future, if you want to know more about Call of Duty or excited about it in general, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on those post notifications. On this channel, I upload Warzone 2 at times, sometimes store bundle videos, and news and updates videos like this on the side. So if you're excited for any of that, then definitely stay subscribed. I appreciate you just for being here. But before we talk about what the content could be here today, let's go ahead and look at the file size. So if you're downloading the PS4 version of the Call of Duty Update 1.30, uh, you know, on PS4, you know, I'm, over, I'm downloading here on PS5, but the PS4 version of it is around 7.5, 7.6 gigabytes, which is actually pretty small compared to some of the previous updates that we've gotten in the past. You know, on the PS5, when you get to the PS5 version, it'll probably be around maybe 10 to 15 or maybe even 5. It'll be somewhere within the realm of 5 to 15. Same with the Xbox Series X and S consoles, as well as the Xbox One. And on PC, they like to make things bigger on there for some reason. So that might be like 20 to 30 for some reason. But it might also be just as small as like 7 to 10 or whatever the case is. But, you know, in either case, just be prepared for a smaller update this time. And when is this update going to be installed? Well, depending on the time that you're watching this video, it's already installing or you're downloading it currently, and it'll be live November 1st at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is pretty typical. So they usually put the updates down the night before so that we can download and preload it for use in later in the day. But yeah, now that we've talked about how big the update is and when it's going to be installed, what is exactly in this update? They haven't stated that there's going to be a Season 6 Reloaded update, but there is evidence to suggest that potentially there is going to be a Season 6 Reloaded update. So in case you guys don't know, Warzone Mobile is supposed to be linked with Modern Warfare 2 and the upcoming Modern Warfare 3, as well as the regular Warzone, whereas, you know, there's cross-progression between Warzone Mobile and all the uh, platforms that I just stated. So when, you know, guns get released in each game, they're going to be released in the other game, you know, most likely because everything is connected. Well, if you got, you guys look at these Warzone Mobile patch notes, uh, within a recent update on Warzone Mobile, they actually included new content. As you guys can see, the new weapons are the FR 5.56 and the Bruin MK2. The FR 5.56 was in Modern Warfare 2019. It's the three-round burst version of the FR, Advancer, I guess you want to explain it in terms of MW2 stats. And then the Bruin MK2 is actually an LMG that is derived from the Bruin uh, MK8 or whatever the heck it was called in model for 2019 as well. So it's interesting that they put these patch notes out, but then they like quickly removed them, I think, later that day or, uh, you know, the next day or whatever the case is from Wars on Mobile. So uh, it's in interesting to see this and potentially, you know, it would make sense. We would get like two additional weapons with a reloaded update. I always thought that the haunting update was the reloaded update because this season is super short. So I didn't think they would like fit it in in time because of the Modern Warfare 3 release kind of coinciding with the Season 6 timeline. But there's also evidence against there being a Season 6 Reloaded update at the same time. Now, if you guys look at the weapon mastery charms, uh, you know, for, you know, mastering the weapons or whatever, they usually tell you, like, each season how many guns there's going to be. And the evidence suggesting against there being a Season 6 Reloaded update is on the TR-76 uh, weapon mastery charm. It's a season six, but one out of three. But the other uh, season six weapons, like the dual commas and I believe the ISO 9mm, they both say uh, out of five. So it's hard to say exactly if this is actually, you know, you know, evidence against or evidence for. But like I said, once we install this update later today and uh, at noon, we'll know for sure if these guns are in the game. But it's just interesting to see that they did plan out to give us the FR-556 and the Bruin MK2, but they might just save them for Modern Warfare 3, or maybe we will get them sometime, you know, within Modern Warfare 2. That would be pretty cool, but we'll just have to wait and see. 
Now, one thing we know for sure that is happening later today with this update is that we're going to have the ability to actually download the Modern Warfare 3 campaign if you've pre-ordered Modern Warfare 3 digitally. And this is going to allow us to play the campaign uh, later tomorrow when the early access for the Modern Warfare 3 campaign acts, uh, happens. So if you pre-ordered the Modern Warfare 3 campaign or pre-ordered Modern Warfare 3 in general and you want to download the campaign, all you got to do is go over here to where it says Call of Duty, obviously. And then you go over here where it says Manage Game Content. And then this is going to be very similar to the beta where if you go all the way to the bottom here, Instead of there being beta packs here, there's going to be uh, something that says like Model for 3 Campaign Pack 1 and Model for 3 Campaign Pack 2. I don't have it on my screen right now because I haven't uh, pre-ordered the game here just yet. But I'll show you know uh, I'll show you guys the menu or whatever of how it looks like right now. And uh, yeah, so if you pre-ordered, you can play the campaign or download the campaign to be ready to play it uh, early, which is pretty nice. And yeah, with the Model for 3 campaign, you know, this is pretty much going to be the main thing of the update. And something I want to address in the future, uh, when I do these update videos, they're mostly going to be called Call of Duty updates. Because in case you, get, you didn't know, every Call of Duty from now on is going to be launched from the Call of Duty app. Model for 2, Model for 3, the future Treyarch Black Ops games are most likely going to be in here as well. So I don't know how long they're going to do this, but hey, it's going to be called Call of Duty and it's kind of kind of crazy to think about. Uh, but when it comes to the campaign, in case you guys don't know or you want to know when you're able to play it, you'll be able to play it November 2nd at, I believe, either noontime Eastern Standard Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, there's a diagram here that they've created that will allow you to know when to preload you know, later today and when you can play it later tomorrow, which is really nice to see. And I do recommend you play through the campaign because not only do you unlock these amazing operators as well as the, uh, the calling cards that are shown here and a nice little weapon blueprint, but you also earn double XP tokens by playing through the campaign as well, just like we did with the Model for 2 campaign. And in case you guys don't know about other news, the Modern Warfare 2 maps are actually going to be featured in Modern Warfare 3 as well. So they're really trying to combine everything into Modern Warfare 3. And it kind of makes me think, like, what's the point of Modern Warfare 2 at this point? I guess it matters if you want to play, like, the old movement or whatever, which some people might prefer the Modern Warfare 2 movement over the Modern Warfare 3 movement. But I can't wait to see how these Modern Warfare 2 maps play on, on Modern Warfare 3. So it's, like, funny that the new MW2 and the old MW2 maps are going to be in the same game. I don't know. I just find that kind of comical. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of speculation, so I do apologize for that. But everything with Model for 2 is kind of getting phased out now that Model for 3 is going to be the new game and it's going to be the forefront. So it's hard to say whether for sure the Bruin MK2 or the FR556 are going to be in the game. And if not, well, it's okay. And if they are, well, that just means more content for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and you turn on those notifications. Hopefully this video informed you in some kind of way. And if you've pre-ordered Model for 3, Get ready to download that campaign and have some fun. I'll be live streaming it on my Twitch and my Kick at twitch.tv slash markofhero and kick.com slash markofhero if you want to experience it with me, if you don't have it preloaded uh, pre or you just want to see my reactions to it. And I do have a playlist of the Mon for 2 campaign in case you want to jog your memory. But that's enough of me talking. I really freaking love you all. <laughs>